there's no debate. Mike Schmidt was the greatest third baseman in Phillies history. In fact, unless you're an Orioles fan, you would probably agree with me that Mike Schmidt was the best third baseman in baseball history. So this is a list of the four best Phillies third basemen who were not named Mike Schmidt. Philadelphia Baseball History presents Top 4 Phillies Third Baseman Not Named Schmidt Back when my dad first took me to Veterans Stadium to watch a Phillies game, the person on third base was Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt was there for those great Phillies teams of the late 1970s that won three straight NL East titles. Mike Schmidt was there for the Phillies' first World Series victory. In fact, when I went away for college, Mike Schmidt was still the third baseman for the Phillies. From the time when I was a boy in the 1970s until the time that I went to college, Mike Schmidt was a fixture on third base. Now, when you think about other historically great baseball players, Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, Christy Mathewson, none of those players stayed with a single team for their entire career. But Mike Schmidt stayed with the Phillies for his entire 17-year career. He's among an elite group of baseball players like Mickey Mantle, Stan Musial, and Joe DiMaggio, who not only were great, but stayed with the same team for their entire career. And Mike Schmidt was certainly the greatest baseball player who ever put on a Phillies uniform. He's still top of the list in a number of Phillies all-time career records. He's number one in career Phillies runs, games played, total bases, extra base hits, RBIs, and of course, home runs. So when you're putting together a list of say the top five Phillies third baseman, there's no suspense with who number one should be. So this list is the top four Phillies third basemen who were not named Mike Schmidt. Number four, Placido Polanco. Placido Polanco had two stints with the Phillies and with his first stint with the Phillies, he was the second baseman. But after he played some time in Detroit, the Phillies acquired him again in 2010. By that time, Chase Utley was playing second base so Polanco was moved over to third, and he was a good defensive third baseman. In his total of seven seasons with the Phillies, he had a 286 batting average and 776 hits. He was an all-star in 2011, which followed his best season with the Phillies, 2010. In 2010, he batted 298. So Placido Polanco was a solid third baseman who deserves to be number four on our list. Number three, Pinky Whitney. Pinky Whitney certainly has the most colorful name of anybody on our list. He was a contemporary of Chuck Klein. In fact, he began his career with the Phillies the same year that Klein did. In 1929, he, along with Klein, were part of four Phillies who drove in more than 100 runs that season. In 10 seasons with the Phillies, he had 1,329 hits and a 307 batting average. He was an all-star in 1936 and batted 284 that year. And like Klein, he came up with the Phillies, was traded away, and came back for another stint. Number two, Scott Rowland. Scott Rowland was plagued with always being compared with Mike Schmidt, and unfortunately, that meant the fans really didn't appreciate him as much as they should have. He was the 1997 Rookie of the Year and won gold gloves in 1998, 2000, and 2001. In his seventh season with the Phillies, he amassed a 282 batting average and 880 hits. His best season with the Phillies was 1998. That year, he batted 290 and hit 29 home runs and 110 RBIs. But Roland was never quite happy playing with Philadelphia because he didn't quite get the fan support that he probably deserved. And quite frankly, it's unfair to compare anyone to Mike Schmidt. Just ask Rick Shue. Honorable mentions. Willie Puddenhead Jones spent 13 seasons with the Phillies and was part of the 1950 WizKids team that won the pennant. We have another Pinky, Pinky May. He had a five-year career and spent all that time in Philadelphia. After playing baseball professionally, May joined the Navy in World War II. He then went on to become a minor league manager. Don Money spent four years with the Phillies and he was generally known as a good fielding third baseman. 
he was the first person to hail a home run at Veterans Stadium. Dave Hollins got hit by pitches a lot. Number one, Dick Allen. Now how could I put together a list of the best third baseman who played in Philadelphia and not put Dick Allen on it? This could be a big year for Dick Allen. In the winter of 2020, the Golden Era Committee will meet and Dick Allen may be among the players considered for Hall of Fame induction. The last time that the Golden Era Committee met, it was in 2014, and Dick Allen missed induction by one vote. The Golden Era Committee was slated to meet it again in 2017. Unfortunately, the Hall of Fame changed its procedures that year, and Bud Selig was elected to the Hall. Allen had a 15-year career and spent nine seasons with Philadelphia in two different stints. His rookie season was 1964, and from 1964 to 1967, he played third base. Allen is still number 10 on the Phillies' all-time home run list with 204 Phillies home runs. His batting average with the Phillies was 290. He amassed 1,143 hits, 697 runs, and had an OPS of 902. He was the Rookie of the Year in 1964 and led the Major Leagues in runs with 125 and triples with 13. That, of course, was the ill-fated year when the Phillies almost made it to the World Series. And in that year, Dick Allen played all 162 games. He hit 29 home runs, knocked in 91 RBIs, and had a batting average of 318. He went on to be the American League MVP in 1972 and rejoined the Phillies from 1975 to 1976, mentoring Mike Schmidt during that period. He certainly has a Hall of Fame-worthy career. Unfortunately, his candidacy for the Hall of Fame has been marred by an incident that occurred in 1965. It was an incident that involved Frank Thomas, who was, quite frankly, a racist jerk. Thomas was immediately released from the Phillies and got to tell his side of the story to the media. But the Phillies knew how valuable Allen was and hung on to him, but forbade him from speaking to the media over the incident. And this, unfortunately, was the incident that turned many of the fans and the media against Allen. And it was among the things that plagued the baseball writers who didn't vote Allen in in his initial period of eligibility. I did a video on this before, and I'll have a link to that at the end of this video. So there you have it, my list of the top four third basemen who played for the Phillies who were not named Mike Schmidt. So what do you think? Do you think I slighted anybody? Would you have put somebody else on this list? Maybe you would have ranked the people on the list a little differently. Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you have any ideas for topics that we can cover in the future, please let us know in the comments below. We have new t-shirt designs, including the Philadelphia Athletics and Harry Stovey of the American Association. And don't forget to show your pride as you protect your health and that of your family. We now have masks available in our merch store. We'll have a link in the description box below. If you would like to see more of these videos, please consider becoming a patron through Patreon. Again, we'll have a link in the description box below.